Looking for Mr. Al Madavi, who's the owner of American Logistics International Company. He's here today to talk to his investors and other investors about trying to grow their company at a time that they're really mistreating their workers. We believe that these investors have the right to know what they're doing, what he's doing with their money. He is not being a professional with, with the, the money that he's receiving from his investors. He's taking his money from his investors and uh, buying and uh, uh, hiring union busters to keep us from forming a union. You know, all we're trying to do is better our families and better our, our, our the lifestyle of our, of our, of our families. I think what we're saying though is that either we'll talk to him because there's an issue or because there's not an issue. Or at least the folks inside are going to hear us if we're asking for it. Does that make sense? Yeah. If we speak loudly enough, they'll be able to hear us and go come out. <laughs> denied us access to Mr. Al Madabi. Uh, we made a cry out front for him to come out and at least speak with us. He did not. We are also going to try and make another phone call to his office to see if he will set up another meeting uh, with some of the uh, drivers. How come you won't sit down with us and, and, and negotiate a fair compensation package with your employees? Are we not important to you? Moving the freight, the only thing that's important to you, we deserve uh, to be represented. We deserve uh, to have a fair compensation package so that we can support our families and our children. You know, we hurt now here. It's hard. You know? It's hard to make a living. It's hard to live off of $900 every two weeks. How do you, how do, you do that? How do you pay groceries, pay rent, how do you pay for your gas? How do you take care of your children? How do you get ready to send them to college off of $900 every two weeks? 